everyone welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to share with you this gorgeous party makeup tutorial this is a green kind of eyes with a hint of glitter dramatic lashes and a pinky nude lipstick this is perfect for any party so without further ado let's jump into the video i'm going to moisturize my face with the saint ivy's moisturizer and i'm going to apply it on my face and on my neck this is a beautiful moisturizer and i have been in love with this one lately i'm going to moisturize my under eyes because they are really dry today for that i'm using this himalaya under eye cream and i'm just patting it under my eyes i'm not dragging it at all and I'm quickly moisturizing my lips with a lip balm. For my primer, I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Prime Primer. Blur plus smooth version, I guess. And I'm just applying it all over on my face and on my neck. And I'm just blending it out with my fingers. This is a really nice primer. And this gives you a smooth canvas for your makeup and makes your makeup long lasting. And also blurs out any imperfection that you might have. For my foundation, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I'm in the shade 128. This is a beautiful foundation and I'm going to apply it in a dotting motion on my face and on my neck. Always apply foundation on your face and on your neck as well too avoid that mask effect with a damp beauty sponge i'm going to blend it out using a tapping motion i'm not dragging it at all i'm using a tapping motion i'm also applying some foundation wherever i need some extra coverage because this is a medium coverage foundation For my concealer, I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm going to apply it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape. I'm also going to apply it on my eyelids to create a smooth base for my eyeshadow. Chin, besides my mouth, bridge of my nose, cupid bow and also the center of my forehead. I'm going to blend it out with the same beauty sponge and Again, I'm using a tapping motion. This concealer has a nice peachy tone to it, which cancels out any darkness that you might have. Also, always blend your highlighting concealer really nicely. Otherwise, it may look a, a little bit white, which doesn't look good. For setting my face, I'm going to use this Varathan Doris Loose Powder in the shade 07 and with a fluffier powder brush, I'm just dusting it on all over my face. I'm not taking a lot of product, I'm just taking little by little product and dusting it on all over my face. I used this Milani brow pomade to fill up my brows on off camera. Now I'm taking this shade right here with a fluffier brush from Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette and I'm going to apply it as my transition color. I'm not taking a lot of product at a time. I'm just taking little by little product and I'm just slowly depositing it on my transition area. I'm just slowly blending up the pigmentation so that there is no patchiness going on. Now I'm taking this shade from the same palette and I'm going to apply it 
on my crease area again I'm following the same method I'm just taking little by little product and I'm going to slowly build up the pigmentation now with a smaller pencil brush I'm just applying that crease color to give a nice depth to my eyes now with a blending brush I'm going to blend out everything so there is no harshness at all now from my Hilary Roda palette I'm going to take this dark green eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it just under my crease area and I'm just going to apply it concentrating on my inner corner and my outer corner to give it a hello kind of a look but not a hello exact hello look I mean you can see what I'm doing now with a blending brush I'm blending all of this out again then I'm taking this vibrant emerald green color with the same brush and I'm going to apply it under my crease area I'm just building up the pigmentation and I'm just giving my eyes a nice pop-up color from the same palette I'm going to take this matte eyeshadow black matte black eyeshadow this is probably the only one matte eyeshadow in this palette now with a angled brush I'm going to apply this mass matte eyeshadow on my outer view area it gives your eyes a nice depth now I'm going to blend everything out with the same blending brush I'm applying the green color that emerald green color again to make it even more vibrant I'm also applying that crease color to give it a nice and smooth transition now from the same palette I'm going to take this golden eyeshadow with a flat brush and I'm going to apply it on my eyeball I'm not applying it all over my eyelid I'm not just applying it on my eyeball area I'm also build, blending everything out with the same blending brush so there is no harshness now I'm applying a liquid glitter eyeliner this is champagne glitter eyeliner uh, I do not really recall the brand I bought it from Amazon and I'm just applying it just where I apply it the golden eyeshadow Now I'm going to use this Maybelline gel eyeliner and I'm going to make a nice thin winged eyeliner. This is a dried felt eyeliner that I'm using for making the wing.
the wing is done now I'm going to tight line my eyes with the same gel eyeliner I applied that green eyeshadow that I applied first on my lower lash line but somehow the clip got missing I'm sorry for that now with a pencil brush I'm going to highlight my inner corners and my brow bones and for that I'm using my makeup revolution pro illuminate highlighter that I'll be using for my face highlighter shortly I'm using this Maybelline Colossal Mascara and I'm going to coat my upper and lower lashes with it. Yeah, my eyes are almost done. I just popped up some false eyelashes. These are pack eyelashes in the style 58 I believe. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. My eyes are done. Now I'm going to contour my face. For that I'm using this Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate. And I'm using this darker shade with an angular brush. And I'm going to contour the parameters of my face. Like the hollows of my cheekbones, my forehead, jawline and my nose. Contouring your face gives you a very chiseled looking face and it looks sharp and structured in photos. Now I'm taking an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I always contour my nose with an eyeshadow brush. I'm blending everything out for my blush I'm going to use this wet and wild blush in the shade Mellow wine and the wine first I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to blend it out with my contour this is a gorgeous blush and I have been obsessed with this blush lately always always blend your blush with your contour otherwise it looks just a strip of color and it doesn't look good now for highlighting my face I'm going to use this makeup revolution pro illuminate and with a fan brush I'm going to highlight my cheekbones my chin cupid bow bridge of my nose and just above my eyebrows it gives your eyebrows a lifted look for my lipstick today I'm going to use this wet and white mega last lipstick in the shade uh, rosebud oh this color I I just love this color this is a very nice pinkish nude type of a color and I wear this lipstick almost every single day and this is a really good quality lipstick and this is really affordable as well so yeah it's my my current obsession now I'm going to set my face with this L'Oreal infallible setting spray and I'm just tapping my beauty blender so here is the final look and I really loved how the look turned out I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you if you like this video then please give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and yeah see you in my next video and also follow me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter all the links will be given in the description bar below so, 
Bye-bye.